The harvesting of minerals from the earth has been paramount in the development of human civilization. Time periods in human civilization are separated by the types of materials used to forge tools and weapons. For example, the Stone Age passed into the Bronze Age when tin and copper were combined to make bronze. The same thing happened in the Iron Age. The distinction of the time period was made when the switch from bronze tools to iron tools was distinct. Many years have passed since the Iron Age, but we are still using minerals from the earth to advance human technology. As of modern day, min minerals such as cobalt, lithium, copper, iron, silicon, and aluminum are all essential components in electronic chips, computers, and batteries. The extreme demand for these minerals have led to large-scale mining operations, which have had several detrimental environmental impacts that disrupt natural ecosystems. The first and biggest disruption is habitat loss. As you can see in this picture, a dense forest with hundreds of thousands of square feet are left uninhabitable for the local wildlife. This leads to major loss in biodiversity due to the decreased area species have to live and compete for resources. A common overlooked impact mining has on our environment is carbon air pollution through active mining and coal mine fires. The act of mining can fling clouds of particulate matter into the air, attributing to lower quality oxygen levels for not only local human residents, but wildlife as well. As for mine fires, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, and heavy metals can be polluted into the atmosphere, causing a majority of issues for flora and fauna. Even if you don't care for animals or our environment, mining operations can have much more personal effect on your day-to-day -day life. There have been several cases of heavy metal contamination of human drinking water. See, when mining, waters often uses a sort of lubricant to decrease dust plumage, as well as to cool down the mining equipment from the intense amount of friction. The runoff from the water usage in the mines can pick up some of these heavy metals or toxic acid solutions and carry them to large bodies of drinking water. In the U.S., regulations are set and upheld upon these mining companies. The United States Environmental Agency can set forth penalties for not operating according to the Clean Air Act established in the 70s as an effort to combat air pollution. The only thing you can do to make sure you're not contributing to the environmental impacts of these mining operations is to do your research. Find out where the materials in your iPhone, laptop, and car are coming from and choose what brands to buy accordingly.